Okay, well, you know, the internet is best seen as a set of infrastructures. Um, and so, so it can be, um, there can be a new basic uh, capability to the internet that's exciting, but at this stage of the internet's evolution, I get more excited when there's new applications. Um, one of the ones that excites me most that I've used at several IETFs, but not this one, is telepresence robots. Um, they've gotten to, to the point where they are inexpensive enough and capable enough that you can attend a meeting like this via a robot from halfway around the world, and it's not quite as good as being there, but it's effective. Um, I've attended one that way, my colleague has attended two, um, and it's, um, I think it's a, a sign of things to come. I think there will come a day when maybe half the people at a conference like this will be robots, and you'll just see them all wheeling around and talking to each other. It's, it's very different from video conferencing, because with video conferencing, you are talking to a room, basically. You're talking to everybody in the room. But with, with a robot, you can turn and talk to one person. You can turn and talk to another. You can have private conversations. You can see someone from across the room and wheel over to them um, if the robot doesn't fall over, which it occasionally does. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's still a newish technology, but it's, it's, it's very exciting. And I think, um, I think it's going to have lots of applications beyond conferences, obviously. I think uh, if you can't afford to take a trip to, te to Paris, you might still want to tour the Louvre uh, using a robot. And at some point, when the technology is mature enough and accepted enough, it's going to be a source of money um, for the Louvre to rent out these telepresence robots. You know, it's cheaper than flying to Paris. So that excites me a lot. Um, that's that's uh, one example.